Hydrates are solid compounds of hydrocarbons and water, which cause considerable problems by blocking pipelines and underwater production systems. To prevent the hydrate formations, the pipelines, flow lines and subsea structures are insulated by the wet thermal insulation coatings. Glass syntactic polyurethane, or GSPU, is one of the insulation coatings used to insulate the components of a subsea production system and the underwater pipelines. The GSPU is a closed cell, liquid applied thermal insulation material that prevents the water to pass through it and contains high strength hollow glass microspheres added to the polyurethane matrix. Polyol and isocyanate are the two components of GSPU insulation that are heated up to the process temperature and delivered separately to the mixing head by two low pressure pumps. Both the GSPU components are mixed at the head to the specified ratio and then pass through a hose for pouring into the stainless steel mold. The mold is specifically designed and fabricated to fit in into the item to be insulated to achieve the desired and uniform insulation thickness. The wet insulation coatings are generally applied to a pipe or equipment coated with the anti-corrosion coating. Phenolic epoxy and fusion bonded epoxy are the two most used coatings under the wet thermal insulation. Before commencing the insulation application work, the coated pipe is lightly abraded using the emery or sandpaper. The adhesion promoter is then applied by brush to the specified thickness, which usually promotes the adhesion between the GSPU and the coating. The application of the release agent to the inner surface of the mold is also necessary for easy mold removal after the insulation becomes a gel. The pipe is now closed by the mold. While closing, it is ensured that the mold is completely sealed to prevent any leakage during the filling. Both the pipe and the mold are then heated up by hot air pulse to a temperature of about 70 to 90 degrees Celsius. The next step is to fill the GSPU liquid into the mold using the nozzle of the low pressure pleural component machine. The liquid, which is a mixture of polyol and isocyanate, is poured by either injection or top filling. The filling is stopped and the nozzle is removed once the mold is full or a slight overflow is observed from the pore cavity. After the filling, the filled insulation material into the mold is now allowed to gel before the mold is opened. And in a few minutes, the mold can be opened and removed from the pipe and the excess insulation material is trimmed off using a suitable tool. Insulation thickness, hardness, density, adhesion and cross-section of the cured insulation are some of the tests that insulation inspectors perform under the PQT or PPT. To learn more, enroll in the IOGS Insulation Inspector course today and expand your knowledge and understanding of wet thermal insulation coatings used to insulate underwater pipelines, flow lines, equipment and subsea structures. Please like and share if you find this video helpful. And for more video notices, subscribe to the IOGS International YouTube channel. You can also visit our website to know more about online or classroom-based training courses offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.